basic training, shadow boxing, jump roll, punch bag and, and a little bit of conditioning. Hey yo, what's up y'all? As you can see, I made it to Hong Kong. You might ask yourself, why would you leave Thailand to go to Hong Kong to train Muay Thai? Well, let me give you a little backstory here. Five months ago, I went to Asia to train, basically. I started my journey in Bangkok. I was there for three months and I did mainly parkour. Yeah. For the fight of my life, hit my knees and I strap on my gloves. Why I've been prepping since like I was seven. The thing is, I'm already covered in blood. Walking in love, it's for the ones who've been stuck in the mud. Searching big, big shout out to you guys. Also, I train gymnastics there and I always do a little bit of calisthenics. I was also working in the biggest CrossFit gym in Thailand, which was also a very nice experience. After my three months in Bangkok, I went to Koh Tao. <laughs> As you saw, and I don't know, I kind of expected to have a fight, so... I was prepared already mentally. After I left Thailand, I was going to the Philippines. And basically only prepared my further journey and also my YouTube channel, which was in total a big effort. And now, now I made it to Hong Kong. Yeah, I'm kind of a sport nerd. I don't know, and that's why I go to these huge cities because here I can basically do almost every sport I want to learn. So it's basically the perfect environment for me to train and to be in. Okay, so I just arrived in my Hong Kong room. I guess this is what uh, Hong Kong living looks like. It's like about two arm length wide. Have to get used to it, but. As long as I can train, it's all right. You know? One of the sports I chose for Hong Kong is tricking. And for those of you who are not familiar with tricking, uh, it is about time for you to get to know it. Like, I will get some rest now, and then second training today, I will show you what tricking is. So it's basically a mixture between kicking, acrobatics and uh, breakdancing. With tricking you can come up with whatever you want. Um, I haven't done it so long so I'm still practicing. But the good thing is I'm capturing my progress. I'm a little bit hurt on my leg so I can't really kick right now. Big shout out to Trick Lab for this awesome gym. This is actually my first time doing back handstrings since I learned it in Bangkok. Before that I couldn't do it. That shows you, you don't have to do it all the time. When you learn it, just keep it in your head, you will be able to do it. Shout out to all the enemy guys out there. I mean, none of it is as fluent as I would like it to be, but, you know, it's about the climbing. 
not about the arriving. It's kind of funny, nowhere where I'm training or which sport I do, I'm never as good as the guys doing it. But I'm the learner. And when guys are better than me, then I will have a close look at them. And this is how you learn very fast. Also, once again, um, if you want to hire a DJ, just hit me up. Okay, third sport of this video. Actually a little bit unplanned, but how could I say no if a crew, if a breakdancing crew from Hong Kong asked me if I would want to join them on today's training. Uh, they just chilling today, but breakdancing has been on my bucket list for a long time now. i actually glad I met these guys because these guys, they are amazing. Next day, next sport, let's go. attempts in breakdancing so I have to figure out what the f this is even about <laughs> And with that, with that view, I want to end today's video. I've been in Hong Kong now for about a week and uh, I still got very much time here. So cannot wait to continue the grind and getting better. Uh, that being said, peace out. <laughs>